I'm not going to apologize for the prices we have on our, our product because I want to be in business. All right, Bronc Busters, Tyler and Amy here, and we are yet on another drive. So the real issue at hand here is we have yet another company stealing intellectual property from us and taking it to China. And listen, folks, we're not the only ones. It's, it's happening all over the place. Um, yes, this hits home to us for the most part a lot right now because this is our livelihood. But in this video, that's what we want to touch on is the effects that it has on us, has on my wife Amy here, and you'll see she, uh, she Show, shows her emotion. I was showing emotion that I hate, absolutely hate doing, but it, it hits a nerve and it gets it's really important to me. And so it's important to our country. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the main products we're known for, but gets very little recognition because you don't see it. And that is the bronc bushing. So that bronc bushing uh, was brought to market and made Bronc Buster a company for a very key reason. When we discovered what was going on, I prototyped the first part and went out and ran the Bronco with Flightbrite. That's what started the whole path of this. And at that point, Amy and I basically put our entire lives on hold, uh, put our business on hold. And uh, my wife said that I was nuts, right? My mom said I was nuts. My mom said, I can't believe you're gonna do this. And we started going to every extent to put bring this bushing to market. Later we came up with the uh, Buster Brace, and here we are, we're, we're now the Bronc Busters, and we've come up with a lot of other products. But this bushing is a big part of what started us and a big part of our business. Because of that, early on, we filed for a utility patent. We went into great detail about what it does, the problems it solves, and exactly what that, that is for. We did that because we knew that first thing that was gonna happen was somebody would try and knock it off. But we knew eventually we were gonna have to defend ourselves against China and the companies in the US that are willing to go to China for a dollar. If we don't start to make a stand, if we don't start to do something, then we're gonna fall for anything and we're not gonna have a country. And when we support companies that steal intellectual properties, when we go to China, to let them take away our intellectual property in this country, we might as well just hand them the keys to the kingdom and say, here, take this country. We don't want it no more. I'm not gonna apologize for the prices we have on our, our product because I wanna be in business to be able to be that company that solves more problems than any single individual out there. We've gone out there and we have put our heart, our souls into this platform. This video, I'm gonna get a little political in this one. This is an unapologetic. I wanna start with a little bit of a backstory to this. First off, I believe that nothing happens just out of happenstance. Everything happens for a reason. And a little over a week ago, I rolled Bronc Buster. We were out doing some of our testing, doing what we do with our products, and it was a little bit of a sting. Then fast forward while I'm putting this thing together, and I came back to a good friend of mine, Rick Ciotti, here at the paint spot here in Canyon Lake, Texas. And uh, Rick was a big help for me before Bronc Buster even existed. When I was doing some stuff on this Bronco, we weren't a company, we were enthusiasts out there playing with our Broncos. And I came here and Rick opened up his arms and helped me do some stuff on my Bronco. And now that I've, I've done some damage to it, I came back, I asked him, hey Rick, will you help me? Meanwhile, yesterday, a lot of stuff going on in my life right now, besides being busy, it's just a, uh, a lot of emotional drain. A lot of you know yesterday that uh, a company that does a lot of stealing of ideas and sends them off to China to be made to beat out American companies. And I am, I'm here with Rick to make a stand. I came here this morning working on getting this hood fixed up to be out on the road and uh, I think Rick, Rick could tell that I was a little upset. I told him a little bit about what was going on, what was bothering me, and I just talking about attorneys and how maybe the only way to go about this is to fight my path. Intellectual property is intellectual property. I know that I'm in the right. And Rick gave me some great advice. What did you tell me, Rick? I said, tell the truth, take it up with marketing. Don't try to compete and circle the drain with these guys that want to infringe on a patent. In countries like China, they're a sovereign nation, and we're supposed to be the land of the free where a man can follow his dreams. Dreams, what they would say, quote unquote, those are for people that sleep, right? 
So you've got people over here all for the love of money doing something like what they did to Tyler here. And this guy's put heart and soul into this thing. Um, I do the same thing. I'm about as pro-American as it gets. But if you guys want to support the lowest bidder, you're actually racing to the drain. And what's going to go down the drain after the parts are gone and the people that had these Broncos or whatever are gone with them and all the companies are gone, well, America is going to be the last thing going down that damn drain. And if you want to be a part of that, then, then keep it up if you don't. Make an investment where it needs to be made. It's not asking an unfair price for these things. There's a hell of a lot of money involved in this R&D and stuff. And as time goes by, sales may be there a little bit more than what they are. Well, you know, supply and demand. That'll right. automatically bring it down, right? Stick with the guy that did it for you and for all the right reasons. When Rick said what he said, I made a commitment in my heart and I went and grabbed Amy because this, she's a big part of this too. And I said, listen, Rick, I wanna come back. I want to make a plea to our country because guys, we have the ability to make an impact. However, each and every one of us, when we go out there and make a choice, when you choose, well, am I gonna buy that part that's a fraction of the cost? Are you thinking about how they didn't do any R&D? All they did was bought a part from somebody else that did all the work. They took and scanned it, run it through a machine, and copied it completely. If you follow us on our channel, you see we are the company that not only try and produce a quality product, but we go out there and we beat the hell out of our vehicle so that you don't have to go out and break. And then I get turned around and smacked in the face by a company here in the US, and there's others. Guys, understand that our braces have been knocked off. We have another company that's, that's taken everything we've designed to reinforce the steering rack. They're taking components of it to make something using our hard work. When you start supporting companies that outsource things to, the, to China, that's the demise of our country. I'm on their radar. China knows about Bronkbuster. They email me constantly, different companies, and I delete those emails. I don't even respond to them respectively. I say no. I am proud we make all of these parts here in the US. A lot of this is with our friend Austin up in Preston, Idaho, the American company. He's got American employees that is supporting this country. CKD Metalworks right there in Preston, Idaho. We work with Rockslide Engineering. Every bit of what they make, including their wire harness, is made in Logan, Utah. We work with Raycor Lights. Everything that they make is made in Logan, Utah. We work with Talon's Garage, Sean and Crystal, our good friends down there in Houston, Texas. They're manufacturing, they design, manufacture, everything is sourced right here in the U.S. We're working with Texas Fabco right down in Belleville, Texas to make a lot of our other metal parts. Many of our partners that we work with. If you don't think that our dollar is about to be worth nothing here real soon, we're gonna have a big surprise. If you don't think that Russia and China are working together right now to make sure that the, the US dollar is no longer the world currency, then you're sleeping. So yes, I am gonna get a little bit bold. I am gonna be a little bit offensive to some. I'm making a stand. This, is, a real, this is really important to us because he's made a good point about how much money we've put into this business to make it work and how much we've focused on keeping the jobs here in the US. The other part is we're a family. We have a family. We have a 15 year old daughter who needs us at home, but it's important for us to make this business work. And we know that how great of our customers are They're so supportive and we appreciate everything that they've done for us and for this other company to come out and try and take it away from us i have a grandson my first grandson he lives only 15 minutes away from us and i don't get to spend the time that i would love to be with him so we have a chance to take back our country we have a chance to with our wallet make a choice when people out there talk about a 350 dollars bushing think about this for one thing if you go buy a piece of software for your computer you're going to spend three four hundred dollars and you have nothing physical tangible to hold in your hands but you just paid for a solution. You paid for intellectual property. When we support companies that steal intellectual properties, when we go to China to let them take away our intellectual property in this country, we might as well just hand them the keys to the kingdom and say, here, take this country. We don't want it no more because that's ultimately what we're doing. You know, Bronkbuster has been very proud to not only do what we do in America, 
but we've also put together a foundation called Wheeling for a Cause. This is a veteran foundation that we have put our own money, tens of thousands of dollars of our own money behind. Besides the fact that many of this in this country have come out to support our veterans, our veterans deserve to have our support. And I'm asking you to just stop, just pause for one second before you make a choice and say, am I making the right choice? We have a choice. I say we make the right choice. It's up to you guys. You want to be part of the solution or part of the problem? So with that choice, let's go out and let's work together as a community to make our country better. This is something I've wanted to say for a long time. And I feel like we may have a chance to impact a few people and make a little bit of a difference. Having said that, let's go out there guys and do the best we can to make a difference in our community. Don't forget, follow us along, like and subscribe. Amy, how about you say it better for me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you guys keep it straight. As always, hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you on the next. Sounds good.